Moo Moo Moo, this is the Computer Cow with another quick Dell laptop review. Today we have the Dell Latitude E5470. This is an old business laptop that we picked up pretty cheap, so we're just going to take a quick look at it today. We're going to start by taking a look at the actual build of the computer. It's got a nice full-size backlit QWERTY keyboard. It's got a 14-inch display with a built-in HD webcam, so that's all looking great. At the top, it's got a very plain business look finish, you know, just simple black, very much a fingerprint. The I.O., however, is amazing. We've got gigabit Ethernet with then VGA and then a SIM card slot, which sadly our model doesn't have a 4G radio. We've got HDMI and then we've got a USB 3.0 port and the power plug. Then we've got on the other side headphone microphone jack, SD card slot, and another USB 3. And on the last side, we've got our third USB 3.0 port along with some ventilation and a smart card reader. On the bottom, we've got lots of great ventilation and then a proprietary Dell docking connector. So you can find docks for these to expand the I.O. even more. Let's take a look inside. It's pretty quick to get inside. It's Phillips screws and they're all recessed into the shell so you're not going to lose them. Those two in the docking station though, they do come out. So then, once we got those screws out, just got to get our little spudger back here, and then get it under the plastic. Ooh, be careful not to pinch your fingers or your hooves. Get that open, and it just pops off. So now we've got a nice look inside. You can see we've got one 8 gigabyte stick of RAM with space for another one. We've got a SATA SSD. And then up here we've got our Intel Wi-Fi card. You can see that space for the WAN card, so that would be for your uh, 4G, 3G modem. And then down here, 62 watt hour battery gives this laptop some pretty decent battery life if you're just doing Word, Google Docs. And yeah, some downward firing speakers. Well, all, pretty basic setup down here. Let's take a look at the computer itself. So inside of Windows here, it's still Great snappy little laptop for just doing basic Windows tasks. We open up Task Manager, we can take a look at the specs. Got a Core i5-6300U, the 6th generation Core i5 dual core. Got 8 gigs of RAM and we got space to expand that. And we've got our 256 gig SSD, pretty standard stuff for a business laptop. Great thing about the Wi-Fi card, it is Wi-Fi 5 compatible, so you're still going to be getting pretty grid speeds on the Wi-Fi even today and just integrated Intel graphics in Display-wise, we've got a 1080p display, which honestly, it looks great just for watching YouTube and having that space to, to be productive and have different apps open at the same time. If we take a look at the pricing, it's actually a pretty affordable computer. Bottoming out, you can find them for under $100 even in kind of rougher condition or in great, great condition. You can see them for $140. So really, you know, you can't find much, much cheaper than $100 these days. And to have that sixth generation processor, that's, that's really nice. So all in all, this is a great buy if you're looking for just a budget laptop to get some work done. Webcam wise, works great. You can see me here, moo moo moo. And then if you want to do a little bit of light gaming, we checked out Minecraft. Once we tweak the settings, turn things down a little, put the graphics off fancy, we were able to load up a creative world, spawn a couple of cows, and fly around just fine. So, cows there, and hello brothers. And yeah, obviously this is no gaming laptop, and if you're gonna install mods or shaders, you're gonna have a hard time with this. But if you're just looking to hop into a world, you can expect to get almost to the 30 FPS, and with a little bit of tweaks, you definitely could get that 30 FPS number. Now, one of our favorites, Halo Combat Evolved. Let's go in and just create a quick little game here. We're playing with that track point there on the, the latitude. We're able to run around just fine. So if you're still having those LAN parties playing some Halo Combat Evolved, you can definitely do that on the Dell Latitude. Latitude E5470 is still a great little laptop for getting work done, but we're looking forward to doing a little bit more with it, so be sure to check out next week's video where we install Manjaro Linux on this laptop. As always, stay classy cows. Moo moo moo.